The city of Redmond held its annual Veterans Day parade today. People of all ages walked down 6th Street and stood on sidewalks in downtown Redmond to celebrate our local veterans. While the parade was smaller than in years past, it was just as, if not more, meaningful for those involved. Phil died on October, October 9th. Yeah. And then my husband died October 23rd. My husband would ride with her husband in the parades a lot of times. The veterans community has been incredible. And, you know, we just like to honor them. We like to support them. They fought hard for us. Yeah. So the least we can do is give back to them and show them our support. More than 40 different groups participated in the parade, including local scouting organizations, marching bands from both Ridgeview and Redmond High, and the Deschutes County Sheriff's Posse. Lapine held its annual Veterans Day parade today as well. There was an array of floats, motorcycles, and other vehicles, as well as an appearance by the Lapine High School Junior ROTC Honor Guard. Iraq and Afghanistan veterans rode in classic cars as the honorary guests. Before the parade, there was an 11th hour ceremony held by the American Legion at Lapine Ceremony. News Channel 21 caught up with some parade goers about what Veterans Day means to them. I think it's the glue that keeps America together, not forgetting that, again, freedom's not free. And these parades indicate that these men and women have went and secured our freedom time and again through all the different conflicts. Most of my family has been in the military, which is an honor for us. Um, my husband, my brother-in-law, my baby boy, well, he's not a baby, but he's, he's in the military too, and he's decided to stay in the Army for life. After the parade, drive-by chili was offered at the Lapine Park and Recreation District building. Tonight, we're asking if you did anything special today for Veterans Day. To weigh in, head over to our web poll, the KTVZ.com homepage. You can vote on previous polls on our polls page, which you'll find under the News tab.